This is the brand new Google Pixel 7a, and this here is the Google Pixel 7. And these two not only look extremely similar, they might be the most similar phones launched by the same company ever. So if you're wondering which one should you buy, let me explain because there are actually some differences that you can miss and make the wrong choice because of that. So starting with the looks, obviously these two are very hard to tell apart. The Pixel 7a is a tiny bit smaller, but that's barely noticeable. The biggest giveaway has got to be the smaller camera bar on the back. The one on the regular Pixel 7 model is just huge. Then the Pixel 7a actually has a plastic back, but that plastic has a very nice glossy finish and it almost looks like glass, so it doesn't feel cheap in any way. Now for me, plastic is actually not bad. I like the practicality, mostly because it won't break if you drop your phone. Does the Pixel 7 feel better because it's made of glass? Yes, a little bit. It feels more dense, but again, glass is brittle and with a plastic phone, I'm just more willing to carry it without a case but that's just me. Both phones also have water and dust protection. The Pixel 7a is rated at IP67 and the Pixel 7 has IP68. So you can see the definition of both those terms on your screen. Basically, the Pixel 7 can survive longer and deeper in fresh water. Not really a big deal to me and probably won't matter to you unless you're into, say, water sports. Buttons and ports are all the same, nice and clicky, I had no issues. But then look at the screen. And the Pixel 7 definitely looks cleaner, while the Pixel 7a has super big borders around the screen. You get used to it after a while, but yeah, it still kind of bugs me. One more advantage for the Pixel 7 is that it has a slightly larger screen area. 6.3 inches versus 6.1 inches on the Pixel 7a. Look at the difference when you use the default font size on both phones. The scaling looks better on the Pixel 7 and it's easier to read, but of course you can just increase the font size on the Pixel 7a. The A series used to only support 60 Hz previously, but the Pixel 7a now runs at 90 Hz just make sure to enable that in the settings because it's not turned on by default. And that is a huge difference. Now scrolling on the Pixel 7a is just as smooth as on the Pixel 7. Now I don't see much of a difference in the quality of display and the colors either. Both phones come with optical fingerprint scanners, not the fastest around, but decent enough and you can also set up photo based face recognition on both devices. All right, let's jump to the meat of it, the cameras. Does the Pixel 7 have a better camera than the Pixel 7a? The short of it is yes, it does, but you will only notice that in some cases. Let me explain. So starting with some daytime shots with the main camera, you can pixel peep and try to find differences. Long story short, these are super, super similar. You can notice the warmer colors on the Pixel 7a in some shots, but really they are essentially the same. Ultra wide camera, also very similar. Selfies, practically identical. Zoom quality, the Pixel 7 is a bit sharper here, but the Pixel 7a is also doing pretty good for a phone with no zoom camera. And even for nighttime shots, you really have to pixel peep to find some tiny differences. A bit less noise in the skies at night and a bit more detail on the Pixel 7. But the 7a is really just as capable as the 7 for taking photos. Then you start recording video and oof, the Pixel 7a just doesn't look as good, even on a bright sunny day. There is less detail, colors are kind of messed up, my jacket should not be that yellow. And when you use the ultra wide camera on the Pixel 7a, yes, it is a bit wider, but there is less detail too. And at night, the difference is even bigger. The Pixel 7a gets lots of noise and the Pixel 7 is just a better phone for video recording by a good margin. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel to catch other ones just like this one. So next up, battery life. So this is the battery size on the Pixel 7. This is it on the Pixel 7a nearly identical, and both are running on the same chip. So battery life should be very similar, and yeah, no surprises here, they are very similar. I was getting around four hours of screen time on average with the 7a and more or less the same on the Pixel 7. 
so no problem getting through a regular day, but if you are taking a lot of pictures or playing games, you might need to charge up earlier. These are not two-day battery phones by any means. Now, both phones run the same Tensor G2 chip on the inside, and the thing about this chip is that it's good enough for daily use, but then it can also heat up very quickly with more intense tasks. On our 3D gaming battery test, both scored less than 5 hours, which is a pretty bad score. And in reality, both of these are just not the best phones for gaming, especially for those more demanding games like Genshin Impact. But there is something that frustrates me more than that, and it's the charging situation. So the Pixel 7a only supports 18 watt charging, and for me this is painfully slow to charge. We measured a full charge taking 2 hours on the 7a. This is really extremely annoying if you need a quick top up. The Pixel 7 is a bit better, but not by much. It supports 20 watt charging speeds and a full charge takes 1 hour and 36 minutes. Now, if you prefer using wireless charging, you should just avoid the Pixel 7a altogether. Yes, it does support wireless charging, but at very slow 7.5 watt speeds. So as you can see, these two look the same on the surface, but the differences can be quite substantial. Now first, the Pixel 7a records worse video. Second, it charges slower, especially wirelessly. Third, you have those big bezels if you care about that. Now, as I'm recording this video, the Pixel 7a is on sale at $450. At this price, I would definitely go with the Pixel 7. The actual differences between these two phones might be small, but they do add up, and it's really hard to know why Google even released the Pixel 7a, if you ask me. But what about you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.